I was leading a group of literature evangelists and I was in the process of picking everyone up to go to lunch. But I had an impression that I needed to drop two of my students off at this section of businesses that was out of the way in the corner. And I remember it didn't make any sense to me at the moment. I was thinking, why am I dropping them here? It makes no sense, it's time for lunch, we're hungry, we need to go. But I listened to that prompting. And I remember as I pulled up to drop the students off, I saw a young man over in his car. And I remember telling my student, Robert, I said, make sure you canvas that young man. It was nothing different. I always say that to my students whenever I drop them off and I see someone. Then I leave to go get the rest. And on my return, I hear Robert call on the radio that he needs some books. And I can tell by his tone of voice that, that something's happening. And so I pull up, I drop the others off, and then I join the conversation. And as I approach, I can see that something indeed exciting is happening. You see, when Robert walked up to Josias and began to show him the books, Josias thought that he was just a salesman. But then Robert began sharing the health books that we carry. And they began connecting on that. And then he stops Robert in the conversation. He says, wait, wait, are you a Seventh-day Adventist? And Robert says, yes, I am. He says, wait, you're a Seventh-day Adventist? My boss is a Seventh-day Adventist, and he's been studying with me, and I've been searching, I've been learning, and you guys have the truth. So they begin talking about the spiritual books, Seventh-day Adventism, and then Josiah stops him and he says, wait, there's this book. You need to read this book. It's the most amazing book I have ever read in my entire life. It's the Great Controversy. And of course, Robert, says, yes, I read that book and actually I have it in my bag right here. And when I came up to the conversation, Robert tells me, he says, you've got to see this. So they lead me to the trunk of Josiah's car and in his trunk is boxes of books. Our books, The Great Controversy, Steps to Christ, and Josiah has been distributing these books. He's not a Seventh-day Adventist and he's distributing these books because he's read them and he says, these contain the truth. And I remember he looked at us and he said, Seventh-day Adventism has the truth. He says, I've been other places, I've read other things, I've seen other things, but he said, you have the truth. And so he gave a large donation and we were able to restock him up <laughs> on many of the books. And by this time, the rest of the team had finished up the businesses and they came over and joined us. And Josias was able to meet all seven of us that day. And we were able to pray with him and encourage him. And then we bid him goodbye. We go off to lunch, praising the Lord for what has happened. The day goes by, the week goes by, and we forget about him. A year passes and that next fall, I was prepping for the next year at Souls West and I got the list of students that were coming. And all of a sudden I see a familiar name. And so I talked to a couple people and I was like, wait, who is this? Who is, who is this student that's coming? And they told me, they said, I think it's, it's a young man that somebody canvassed last year. And I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, is that Josias? And they were like, yeah, I think it is. And so when he came, we got to hear his story. And he shared that at the moment when we met him that day, he was at a crossroads. He wasn't sure where he was going. He wasn't sure if he should become a Seventh-day Adventist. But when he met that group of seven literature evangelists that day that were young people, he realized, yes, this is the truth. This is where I wanna be. And a few months later, he was baptized as a Seventh-day Adventist. And today, Josias is in a summer youth rush program, helping young people to not only distribute more literature in communities, but also to personally fall in love with Jesus. And every time I see Josias, it just brings a smile to my face because I think back on that day and I think what would have happened if I hadn't listened to the Holy Spirit. I'm so thankful that I listened to that prompting and that we were able to meet Josiah at the right moment. And the second thing that it taught me is that if Josiah, when he wasn't a Seventh-day Adventist, 
saw the value of our books so much that he was distributing them himself, how much more should we, as Seventh-day Adventists, share the books that we have, share the books that contain the truth about Jesus, that contain the truth about his soon coming? If he would distribute them, how much more should we? Thank you.